Now, it has come time for the first sacrifice that you will make tonight. Yes, sir. Are you ready to join the ranks of the ordained priest of Andriac Faith? I am ready. Are you ready to take the oath of that priest? Yes, I am ready. Place your hands on the sickle and repeat that oath. I pledge to love the land, to serve the folk, and to honor the gods. And to this, I dedicate my hands, my heart, and my head. Very well. You have given many sacrifices. And you will give many more sacrifices in the years that you wear this. Let this stola be the outward symbol of the sacrifices that you have given and of the sacrifices yet to come. Let everyone know when they see this that you are willing to give of yourself. May you wear this stoa honorably and wisely and lovingly. Be it so. Be it so. so be it. Come forward, Kirk. We have a new feature <coughs> of the Nematon installed uh, for this work and it will stay here for future works we hope and that is a, a stone with a footprint upon it uh, that will represent for us as it does in several Indo-European traditions around the world the lineage of leaders and teachers uh, into which uh, we bring our uh, uh, new arch druids. So then here the lineage of the arch druids of Arnriak Fan. First there was Isaac Bonowitz, our founder, honored, and well-remembered, well-loved, who served as long as he could stand it, <laughs> <laughs> and departed after some 14 years, 13 years, um, to be replaced by a surprised Ian Corrigan. <laughs> On a New Year's morning, who served a short six-month term that seemed like six years. <laughs> Managing the election of our first elected Archdruid, uh, Reverend John Edelman called Fox, who served our organization well for five and a half years until his life uh, led him uh, back to his life <laughs> for a time, <laughs> and who still serves as, uh, as a priest and leader in Arnriak Fan. Uh, following uh, John Edelman, uh, we of course elected Skip Ellison as our Archdruid who has served us for nine years helping to transform the organization uh, from a living room gang of pagans into a world-class neo-pagan organization. And now into this lineage comes Kirk Thomas. First, are you ready to accept and join this lineage, Kirk? I am ready. All right. Then now we get to say things about now you. Now we get to say things about you. I am going to first put this around your neck. <laughs> oh, each of these customs is as we have always done for the consecration of an arch to it, even though it's, we have to remember them every nine years or so. <laughs> yes. Over the last nine years, there have been many lessons that I've learned. So I would like you to think on these words that I say, take them to heart, and every once in a while meditate on them and see why I told you. First, I want you to use your knowledge. You have great knowledge in many subjects. Your knowledge will help both ADF grow strong and you work well in the position. Next, I want you to use your compassion to think about what people are telling you and sometimes not telling you but need to tell you. Use that compassion well. Then I want you to think about steadfastness. Sometimes you're going to need to hold on tight and go through and do things that you know are right. And that leads to the perseverance. Many times things don't work the way you want them to work. But you have to keep going at it. And you know what leads into courage. There will be times when you will say things that people don't like. 
You need to have the courage to say those hard words. And you also have to temper that courage with humility because there will be times when you find you're wrong. And with that humility, think about empathy. Be able to read the people, to understand what they really need. Empathy is very important. And next, learn to give and take the love that the people of ADF will give to you. You will find it overwhelming at times how much you are loved by everyone within the organization. And last, I want you to use the fertility of your heart, your mind, and your hands to produce those works that will be your legacy that people will remember through all times. And it will help to take ADF to become a true world religion. You have these capabilities within you. And I know you will use them well. Ian, do you want to say something while he has this? Oh, what's around? left? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't taken all of his yet. <laughs> Kirk, you've done wonderfully well. <laughs> you have uh, advanced as a student of our druidry in a way that obviously bespeaks both your wit and your will. Um, and I'm proud of you. And very, very, and I think we're all proud of you, and I think you will serve as a proud face uh, of our organization. Um, and uh, just listen to what he said. <laughs> <laughs> and so with that, I take the sickle off your neck. And it is ready to... Oh, we have one more. We have words. One, one more. Oh, we have words. <coughs> we have uh, some words. Okay. Uh, not from an Archduke Emeritus, but nevertheless. It's the piece of the robe that Kirk wore before tonight, before he was Archduke, before he was a holy or green priest. But I speak now in the words of Kozen who is of these many years uh -huh. the partner of Kirk. He <laughs> couldn't be here. But think of me as really tall and really big. <laughs> and very brown. <laughs> we all have this one life right now. Many of us just let life pass mindlessly rising and falling without intent, being less than real in the lives, and not becoming all we can be is a great waste of the great potential that we all share. Some of us have been given this gift to grasp our true nature and embrace our destiny. Kirk is a man who has faced the reality of life and accepted the choice to be real and alive. There is always a cost when we decide to become real. <coughs> Kirk has paid dearly for this choice. <coughs> from Kozen and from me. You have my love, blessings, and respect. May your gods and goddesses, nature spirits, and ancestors guide you. Bishel. Bishel. Tagamai, it is good. Tagamai. <laughs> uh, uh, somebody, take, somebody take his stick. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kirk, your first task as Archdruid will be to bring a blessing to this gather. I don't make an oath. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
Then it's extempore, it's extempore, so I, uh... We said something, so now he gets to say something. We'll put this back out here. <laughs> Like torture. <laughs> 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 Return to the thing it is. Yes. Well. <sighs> to the people of ADF. You are my family. And from the bottom of my heart, I love you all. And I want you to know that I swear to you, standing here on this stone, in this sacred place before you all and before our kindreds and my patrons that I will do everything in my power to aid all of our members in their spiritual growth, in their piety, in their joy, and in communing with our gods. This is my life. And I thank all of you. Be it so. Be it, Be it, it so. so. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. here. Now, 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 your first task is. <laughs>